Hey guys, the aim of this video is to show you the steps on how to expand and simplify an expression with three different terms. So our first step is to distribute this section of the expression. So we want to do x times x, so x times x is x squared plus x times b is bx. And then we go up here and distribute the a, so we have a times x is ax plus a times b is ab. So this part over here is the expanded part for our first two brackets. And now we still have to worry about this x plus c. So we still have an x plus c out here. So as you can see, it gets a bit more complicated now, but we still use the same steps. So if we expand this out, we have x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times c is c times x squared. Now we move on to this term. bx times x is bx squared plus bx times c is bcx now we move on to this term ax times x is ax squared plus ax times c is acx and now our final term ab is ab times x is plus abx and ab times c is plus abc now to simplify this, what we do is look at the powers of each term. So over here we have 1x to the power of 3. For our x cubes we have this one, this one and this one. And for our x to the power of 1 we have this one, this one and this one. And lastly we have our constant or you can think of it as x to the power of 0. This x to the power of 0 is also equal to 1, so we have only one term for our constant. So if we group up the like terms together, we have x cubed. And over here we have ax squared plus bx squared plus cx squared. So we can ignore these now. And we have abx plus bcx. plus ACX and lastly we have plus ABC so from here we can find out that we actually can factor out pretty easily if we factor out the X squared from these three terms over here this one this one and this one we have X squared outside of A plus B plus C and if we factor out the X from this term and this term and this term we have x outside of ab plus bc plus ac and lastly we add our constant abc and this line over here is your answer and this is how you expand three different brackets